Chairs No Waiting, episode number 164. Who's been messing up the bulletin board chapter 20th anniversary? Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the fine folks over at Weaver's Department Store at weaversdepartmentstore.com. Drop by over there and you'll see the 50th anniversary DVD, Dillard CDs. You also got uh, ties and all kinds of other things over there. It's Christmas time's coming up, folks. Drop by over at Weaver's and pick up some fun stuff for you. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by audible.com. Drop by audibletrial.com slash two chairs and pick up your free audiobook. It's free. Free. Mayberry fans love free. A free audiobook. I love listening to stuff. I listen to podcasts. And so I enjoy listening to audiobooks too. So go over there and get a free book. You got 14 days, get a free book. If you cancel in 14 days, you get to keep the book at audibletrial.com slash two chairs. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Alan Newsom. It's great to have you with me. Get to talk a little bit about Mayberry tonight. And I'm excited because we're talking about the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter of the Andy Griffith Show Rerun Watchers Club. Man, that's a that's a mouthful right there. It's our 20th anniversary. The 29th of November will be the 20th anniversary of the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter of the Andy Griffith Show. Now, you, the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board, you remember that when Barney came in and saw the that the guy had straightened up the uh, bulletin board in the courthouse, you know, and, and he says this. Who's been messing up the bulletin board? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the name came from. Wow, it's been several years ago when we did that. We voted on it and came up with that. So now we have the 20th anniversary of the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board cha- uh, chapter of the Andy Griffith Show. Back in 1990, April 1990, Bob Bravatti, who's one of our members, was on the old prodigy computer network and he'd started this topic on prodigy called uh called the andy griffith show after a few replies and a little bit of chatter the subject kind of died off but early in fall of 1990 i your host alan newsom for the two chairs no waiting i signed up to prodigy the computer network and back in those days you guys may not remember some of you may not be old enough to know you dialed up, and it was there was no internet at that point. It was kind of just starting, so you had his you had these dial up networks like Prodigy, AOL, some others. Anyway, I started a subject on Prodigy on their bulletin board system called Andy Griffith Show. And after the first message, uh, I was joined over time by about fifty seven folks, including Bob Bravatti, who enjoyed talking about Mayberry. On the first anniversary of that very first message. We decided to make our Andy Griffith Show group of fans a real chapter of the Andy Griffith Show Rerun Watchers Club. So we had people send in their suggestions for chapter names, and and the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter was born. That's right. A note requesting a chapter charter was sent to the Andy Griffith Show Rerun Watchers Club headquarters in Nashville, Tennessee, on November the 4th, 1991, an official verification of our chapter arrived uh, by mail on November 29th, 1991, in the form of a chapter charter from the Andy Griffith Show Rio Rochers Club headquarters. And wow, what a day it was. I'll tell you, uh, I'll never forget it because we, uh, we got that charter and uh, it came in the mail and, and I was so excited because right there it was. The uh, official documentation says this document certifies that who's been messing up the bulletin board is a ch- chapter is officially recognized member of the Andy Griffith Show Rio and Rutgers Club and is dedicated to the promotion and enjoyment of watching the Andy Griffith Show. I'm telling you, that was a great time for me that uh, we got that. And uh, anyway, so. Uh, we went on, and, and not long after that, well, a little while after that, I left the Prodigy Network in 1993, and for about six months, I was out of touch with all my Prodigy and online Mayberry friends. Then I saw the bullet, the official newsletter of the Andy Griffith Show at the time, a note from Kevin Johnson, because I, I lost contact. Kevin Johnson and Jack Fellinger, some guys I had been in, in communication with, on uh, Prodigy and stuff, requested that folks email them to talk about the Andy Griffith Show. Well, boy, I jumped right on that, and right away, 
uh, I was uh, back in touch with some of my friends and the folks from the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter. And that note in the bullet resulted in the chapter being expanded from being just on the Prodigy Network to being on the whole Internet. And by August the 1st, 1994, the Internet version of the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board had 25 members. Kevin Johnson kept up with the member list for about six months. And beginning the new member update in 1994, December 21st, the responsibility was given back to me to take the reins of the chapter and uh, keep things going. We had 50 members at that time. And by the end of 1998, we'd grown to 608 members. And then we grew to, you know, 1,300 as time went on. And our, our community just continued to grow. And so uh, uh, our online uh, Mayberry friends have come and gone, but uh, there's a few members that are still there. Rob Bravatti and myself and Kathy Jo Stahl, we've been around since the very beginning and are still there. Now, you may be asking, what is the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board Digest? I've been talking about it for, I don't know, however long we've been talking here. Well, what it is is a daily email that you can get that's all about the Andy Griffith Show. Every day, people, and it's not me, but people, other members, and there's about 1,600 or so members of the Digest uh, that uh, that are joined together and just share in the Mayberry Fun, and they share experiences they've had. They talk about people they've seen. They talk about all kinds of things. Well, that said, November the 29th, 2011, marks the 20th anniversary of the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter. And wow, uh, I looked back and realized that uh, until November the 5th, 1999, I did the digest by hand every day. So I did this email digest, put together, people would email me everything, I would put it together, and I would email it back out to all the different members that had signed up, up until November the 5th, 1999. And after that, I started trying to, you know, get everything automated. So it's been 11 years or 12 years now since we went automated. And, it, and boy, it doesn't seem like it's been 11 or 12 years uh, since then. Anyway, so, you know, I was trying to figure out back last year uh, just how many issues of the Digest there have been over the years. Well, I wasn't able to get the exact numbers because we didn't go automated until that November but uh, basically, I figured out that, uh, you know, just assuming they were pretty good, that uh, by 1995, there would have been about six, uh, 364 issues from, from, uh, from August 1994 uh, through the end of that year, or about 85 or so more. I anyway, we're not going to do math, but uh, basically... The idea would be is by November 29th of 2011, there have been 5,355 issues of the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board and Digest. That means an email a day. Sometimes it was more than once a day, and every once in a while it's less. You don't get any that day. But in the years of 20 years, basically, that we've been doing this, there have been 5,000 355 issues of the digest that's a lot of email i tell you that well now of course in 2011 we had some big news the big event was that it was the 5000th issue of the digest and that happened to occur on sunday january the 2nd 2011 and to celebrate we had an online chapter meeting we got everybody together we had about 15 people in the room several of them are or some of them are in the chat room with us tonight as I'm recording this. And folks, let me just tell you, it was a wonderful, wonderful time. And I, I just can't tell you how much uh, fun and joy I've had over the years just being a part of the fellowship with all these uh, wonderful Mayberry people. We've had uh, t-shirts designs. I got a new one for this year for the 20th anniversary. You had a 15th anniversary version that uh, had the front and the back. Uh, the front had like a uh, it said, who's been messing up the bulletin board 15th anniversary and 2006. And then the back had 15 years and going strong. It looks like a bulletin board. And, of course, so this year I took some of those same designs and did the same basics on the back. And then the front 
it tells you that it's been 20 years of the who's been messing up the bulletin board chapter folks in that time frame there's even been a cartoon one time about us there was a cartoon of uh, the uh, uh by a fella uh, named sam white and he he did a cartoon back in 1999 because he was a member of the digest and it, the funny thing it was this uh so on the digest, we have uh, people talk about uh, things they've seen, things that, uh, people they spotted uh, out on the, uh, you know, on other shows from the Andy Griffith show. They'd see I saw Mayor Stoner on such and such, or I saw this. Well, the the cartoon that he wrote, uh, comic strip, I should say, it says at the Who's Been Messed Up the Bulletin Board Internet uh, chapter for the Andy Griffith Show Rio and Richards Club. And it's got my wife standing behind me saying, something wrong, honey? And then the voice comes out of my head saying, you know what tag siding things we do, people we see on the Andy Griffith Show? Yeah, she says, yeah, where people write and tell you about seeing cast members on other shows. And I go, yeah, I'm starting to be sorry I ever started it. Wow, you've always loved that, she said. Ah, this goober named Bert Cottage writes in every day whenever Matlock or Happy Days comes on and reports about it. <laughs> so so it's like a comic strip. I, I made a comic. I was actually in a comic strip. I couldn't believe it, you know. But that was back in 99. And, and wow, we've had uh, a lot of good years. So, folks, I hope you enjoy the podcast. And it's once a week. And you get to come in and have just a little bit of Mayberry fun. And hopefully you're getting to come sometimes to the chat room and actually be part of the live shows when we were able to have them. I've been real busy lately, so the live shows have been sporadic. But hopefully you're getting to do that and interact with fellow Andy Griffith Show fans because I know some of you live in places where there aren't any others or you don't think there are. The Digest, the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board Digest, and you can go to it. We'll have links in the show notes. It'll have a link. And you can be part of uh, 1,500, 1,600 people that not everybody writes every day, thank goodness, or we would have a lot of digests uh, published every day. But you'll get, you know, three or four or five. Some days you'll get 10. Some days you actually, I mean, emails within the digest. Because what you get is a digest. It's a, a one email containing several emails for the day. Now, the cool part about that is it keeps things slow and easy. And uh, Mayberry fans, I think we like that. You know, it keeps us from getting like Twitter and, you know, all this speedy, can't can't keep up with everything. This is one thing you get in your mailbox once a day. And you might get it twice if everybody's real talkative that day or something big happens around the Mayberry community. But it's a great way to get in touch with your friends and your family and, that are Mayberry fans and just be a part of it and sit there and enjoy the uh, camaraderie of fellow Mayberry fans. I got a voicemail that I want to share with you. It's a great voicemail because it is from the man I was talking about earlier who helped start the chapter. His name is Bob Ravetti. So, Bob, take it away. Hey, Alan, this is Bob Ravetti. Just wanted to congratulate you on your 20-year anniversary of who's been messing up the bulletin board chapter of the... uh, and the Griffith Shore Rerun Watchers Club. Boy, that's a mouthful. Anyway, 20 years of dedication to putting this thing together and keeping it going. Um, I salute you. That is just one heck of a chore that you've done. And uh, it's only a small part of what you do, as most people know, for um, people that enjoy the show. So uh, over the years, I've been glad to call you my friend and uh, a lot of great conversations on the board, and uh, hopefully it keeps going another 20 years. Salute. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Man, I really appreciate you calling in because, wow, Bob's, uh, you know, he's uh, he's been around there since the very beginning. So I, I've i definitely enjoyed uh, all the time getting to spend with him. And, folks, 20 years I've known this guy. I've only met him once. I went to Reno, Nevada and met him. I was actually in Sacramento, California, and I drove all the way to Reno you know, one day, because I had a day off, drove up there, met him, and drove back to Sacramento to fly back to to home. Uh, and I was I was in Sacramento all of, I mean, not in Sacramento, I was in Reno an hour, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. But I did that just to meet Bob, and that was, wow, a long time ago in the 90s. 
that it's the only time I've ever met him. I, I've talked to him on the phone. I've gotten calls from him, and we've been on the digest together for all these years. So I'm telling you, if you come to the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter, and you will see, uh, you, you'll you'll see and meet people that are Andy Griffith Show fans that will, you know, they'll be a part of your life. You'll be friends, and you'll have, uh, you'll 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 make acquaintances by the internet uh, that that will last a long time. There's just one example. I've got several others, many others. There's people in the chat room been around since 1990s, you know, 97, earlier than that, that have been visiting with me, and I've been honored and privileged to meet them. Now, let me just tell you, 5,000 issues of the Digest, that's a lot of words about our little uh, hometown of Mayberry, North Carolina, that have been delivered across the Internet in the last 20 years. Uh, and that's all because of the Who's Been Up the Bulletin Board chapter and I believe that it's made the world just a little bit better and more fun place to live in. You know, the chapter wouldn't be there if it wasn't for the great people that are there. So I definitely encourage you to drop by the Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board chapter of the Andy Griffith Show. Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board? <laughs> I just love that name. Who's Been Messing Up the Bulletin Board? And just drop by and sign up because you can be a member too. All you got to do is go there and subscribe. All you got to do to subscribe to it is tell us your name, first and last, and your city and state. That information is protected. We don't give it out to everybody. But it's always been a thing that's helped us just keep the community flame-free, I guess. Have you ever, ever gone places where people get on there and just say things they shouldn't say and do things they shouldn't say do? Well, we don't have that much trouble with anything like that in Mayberry. So I definitely encourage you. Drop by, sign up, and I hope you'll enjoy yourself. And feel free to join in. And everybody in the community, if they're not nice to you, you let me know, and I'll take care of that. So, Because uh, <laughs> everybody was new once. Everybody's first time could be your first time listening to this podcast tonight. Well, we'd love to hear from you, just like I heard from Bob. You can call me at 888-684-8415. You can email me. By going, uh, sending an email to Floyd at imayberry.com. You can go to Two Chairs No Waiting, Two Chairs No Waiting.com, and you can leave uh, messages there. Uh, and uh, while you're there, check it out. There's all kinds of sites, there are all kinds of things there. There's Two Chairs No Waiting, there's the Mayberry Bible Study that's there, and that's a, that's a new one, a new podcast that you can go and check out. The Mayberry Bible Study Podcast, there's so far are three issues or three uh, editions or podcast episodes. And there's also a great podcast called Burke on Mayberry. Uh, Kevin has been uh, chastised by some of the folks because he doesn't do them consistently enough. But he just put out one tonight, uh, the 27th of November, when I'm recording this. So, And it's on A Wife for Andy. It's episode number 98 of Burke on Mayberry. So go and check that out. His are all about 10 minutes long. It's just a synopsis of the episode of the Andy Griffith Show. So drop by and check that out. And while you're there, you know, check out Two Chairs No Waiting and uh, leave me a note at one of the, uh, I'll comment on any of the things. I'll get that. And like I said, give me a call. Folks, I love interacting with you. I love hearing from you. And I just want to encourage you to just join in with all the conversation and get to know some of your fellow Mayberry fans. They're really good folks and you're going to enjoy getting to meet them. I promise you. And we're then. What can I say? It's that's what's making us made very special as a people, and you will not be disappointed, folks. I feel like I've rambled all I can ramble tonight. So we'll see you next time on Two Chairs No Waiting, your Mayberry podcast. Bye, folks. <laughs> <laughs>